Hello and welcome on the Academy. So in this video, you will learn how to make a video game. So with the web, with the technology you have already seen, like HTML, CSS, you can make great website. But now if you want to go further, you have to learn JavaScript. And what's best to learn a programming, a programming language by doing a game. So now I will show you how to download some files to create your own game, to customize it, and to discover the power of JavaScript. So let's go. The first thing you are going to do is to come here on this website and click on create a game. So now that I can create the game, I can just download those files that I made for you. So download these files once it has been downloaded you can just go here and open it in this folder when the folder is ready open it and as previously as all the other side we just have to extract it so i will extract it here done my folder is there in the download folder it's called coding summer school gs game brick you will see what it is and all we have to do now is open VS Code. Don't forget your shortcuts, Alt, Tab. And here on the Explorer icon, I will just click and open my folder. So here I'm already in the download section. I click on Coding Summer School GS Game Brick, the, the folder I just download. Validate. And here we are. So you will see it's very easy. I close this one and I open my index.html. As you can see, there is not that much in the HTML, but this, this few co co lines of code will do a lot. You already know those tag, which is HTML, the opening and the closing tag, the heading and the body. So, but now you discover a new one, the Canva. This tag Canva, you see there is nothing inside, inside, but there is some attributes with some value. We have already seen the ID attribute, which is the name I will call this tag. Here I'm calling it with my Canva. Remember, we use those names well, in CSS, so we can refer to the tag and we can make the, their own styles. There is also a new attribute here, which is the width and the height, with the value 480 and 320. This will define how much pixel it will show on my web page. On the left, you see I have here a style. So this style file, you can see I target my tag Canva and I change, I make the background with this color. We have already seen, if you want to change the, the background, you know how to do it now. We will also see it together. And there is a new folder here, GS for JavaScript, not Java, which is another language, it's JavaScript. So when I click on it, I have a file called app.js. And here you see I have written a lot of code for you that we will go through in a second. But first, the fun. You can right click on index.html and with our plugin that we have installed previously, you click on open with live server. And here is our game. As you can see, it's a game to break some bricks that you can play either with your mouse or with the keypad on the, key, the left and the right arrow. And now I feel like I don't want to teach anymore, but more having a game. No, just kidding. So you can see here, I have a score each time I win, but also I can lose my lives here, you can see. And when I finish, I have a message telling me congratulations. So how do we do that? Um, it's very easy. 
So how can I pause the game? I won't pause because when you play, you don't pause. Just kidding, pause. So here, the thing that you have seen, I will inspect. And here I click on this one. You see, this is my Canva. When I select this, this is the Canva, the tag that we have seen in the, in the HTML file. When I click on my Canva, here, up, uh, uh, when I click on my Canva, I can see the width, 480, and also the height. I can increase them and decrease them in the HTML to make it wider or smaller. I can also change the background of it. For instance, if I come here in style and I change this one to red, I save here. I come back again, I reload the page and then you see that the background is red and you can see it here. You can also play it with the color here if you want to see it in the real in real time and you can choose then the right color you want we will also be using this because you will be able in a few seconds to customize every single part of this game and how how can you customize this game is very easy just by understanding a little bit of javascript so this is javascript JavaScript, as you can see, like, there is a lot of green text. This green text is comment. There are, there are just some comments that I made for you. So the computer don't even read them. They are just made for human, like you and me. So we can understand better the code. So when it's green, it's because it starts with this part, the slash and stars, and finish with slash stars. This is the beginning and the end of a block of comment. Is here I made you a little comment then every line that starts with two slash is also a comment that's why VS Code knows it and he made it green so you can easily uh, find out that it's a comment and then we have what we use a lot in all programming language these are variables every word that is following the word var is a variable a variable is is a bit like a box so if you think of it let's say that you have a box and in this box you write your age so you take a box and you write age on it and then because this variable is a box and I can put stuff on it I can make it equal to let's say 13 and I finish like this here I write var and then my variable and then 13 when I write this the computer reads my code and say okay the equal means I have to take this number and put it inside this box that means after when I say that the screen has to show like the score let's say the score have is my age times 2 the computer says okay there is a new variable here a new box and what do i have to put inside this box i have to put the content of this box which is age and multiply it by two and then he goes and say okay what is inside he refers to this one here he found out there is the number 13 he takes it back like this up oh, he takes everything back and so here now we have 13 and we make 13 times 2 and here we put 26 inside this box and through these variables you can make a lot of things you can make a game you can make a whole mobile applications and so on but variables are more than just putting numbers in box you can also put a string that means 
I can have a variable that will create a box with my name and put yak. This is my name. Once I have this this uh, in the box, the name, I can say every time someone comes on the website, show on the screen, hello, plus what's inside the name, the box name. And then the screen will show hello, yak, and everybody will be happy because they will feel great, greeted well and so on. So you can also put object in uh, in in this um, in these boxes like the Canva, and this is where we are going now to see. Up here, you can see the first one is Canva. This box refers to the Canva we have seen in the index HTML, and this Canva, which is here will be the screen of our game this is like the screen in the web in, in the web where you put all the game and all the logic and every, all the interaction so here i say okay the screen of my of my uh, game will be canva and i say to the document remember we talk about the document html and we say get the element that has the id my canva and then he goes here he search on the page where is the ID, my Canva, and say, okay, then he takes all of this and put it in this variable. After that, we set the context that makes of the, of the game. We say, okay, this will be a 2D game. If you want, after we can even do 3D games, but for that, we, we need a bit more mathematic. And from that, now you can customize everything. You can customize the, the, the bore radius, how big it will be, the, the size of the, of the Canva, where it will start and so on. The speed, you can go faster and stronger and everything. So let's make some tests together. First, let's play with the ball. Maybe I want a very big ball to play. And here I will... You see now, I have a very big ball, it's more, it's easier for me, but it's a bit cheating also. And also I don't like the, the red, so I will just change it fast and put it how it was. Control Z to do that. So now, you see, I have changed the ball size, but I can also put it back and make it smaller and now you see I have to be more accurate so it will be a bit more difficult for me after that you can make it faster you know let's say the speed will be 3 instead of just 2 I put back the, the ball where it was and you see here it starts to be fast very fast you can go as fast as you want. You decide now because you have the code. The padding 8 and the padding width, padding paddle width. So let's see here if I double the size of the paddle. That means I'll do 150. And I refresh the page and as you see it's even easier for me. Then Let's make it fair, go back to 75. I can choose to, to have smaller bricks, you know? Here I have the brick width and the bricks height. I would say, I would divide this by two, approximately. So the width would be 13 and the height would be 10. And now you see the bricks are very small and here. But because they are smaller and in the corner, what I can do, I can ask more of them. Maybe I just want, I don't want just five row of bricks. Maybe I want 10 of them. Oh, 
the game always call me back to tell me that I lose. It's okay. And the colon, maybe I want four instead of three. I reload. And now I started already to make the game more interesting for me. So as you saw, there is many things to do. I really want you to, to learn all this code, to play with all these uh, variables and to create your own game because there is still a lot of things that we have to see there is like um, the colors that you want to you can change you can change the color of the score the color of the ball the color of the bricks the color of the lives you have you can cheat and make more life for you or you can make it easier and just give you one life you can change the message that you will receive in the end you can customize this as you want don't change any things below this line because here there is really the code that will make all the logic and makes everything to work but first you have to be comfortable with this part and then you will be able to go further so now that you have the basic of javascript you have a game to play with but also you have the game to customize so it's okay to play but I want you to create really so get focused on this and i see you in the next video for an upload of knowledge bye